it's a boy D. Dixon. Today we're going to react to Tony Baker's voiceover, volume 9. Here we go. I only love you. We go. Oh, Lord. What y'all doing over here? What y'all got the guns for? What you got the guns for, man? What you aiming at? Was you, was you aiming at you me with those? Me? Oh, y'all quiet now, huh, fellas? Talk to me, fellas. I see y'all seeing me. It's not like because you're quiet, I won't see y'all. We making eye contact. Talk to me, fellas. Yeah. Was you aiming at me? See, I don't think y'all tough with them guns, huh? You had to buy your weapons, man. My weapons is built in. I was born with my weapons, claws and teeth. I tackle, I tackle the prey. It don't make you tough because you can shoot your prey at a distance, man. That's soft. That's soft, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm out of here, man. Look at my coat, man. It's called camouflage. I was born with this camouflage. Y'all had to go out and buy your little camouflage. Your little camo outfits, huh, fellas? Hey, when I get back in this wilderness, don't aim at me. Because if you miss, I'm coming for your jacket. And I will get it. Because y'all can't fight up close in person. Peace out. Man, I'm in hot pursuit of a suspect. I'm on foot at the dock of the bay. Dispatch. Dispatch. I'm on the perpetrator's heels at the dock of the bay. Lord Jesus, send back him. I got him, but whew, Lord Jesus, send that back him. Uh, I think I got him. There's the right dispatch. He has nowhere to run. He's got the water right in front of him. Good old water backing me up every time. All right, sir. It was fun while it lasted, huh? Let's come on in. Come and get these handcuffs. Let's get this handcuff work, sir. You're not, you're not going to beat me. I got the water by my side. Huh? Come get these handcuffs. Sick of it, man. Been doing this 20 years. You think I want to run around chasing your ass? Sick of it, man. Your ass is grass. Come get these cuffs. Hmm? They don't pay me enough for this shit. Okay? Let's get these cuffs. Make your shoe. Go for your ass in the water. Skid that diddly dee. Yo, you just lost one. It's so silly. How <laughs> come? <laughs> What you done, what? done, is so silly, how come? That is crazy. You just Damn. lost one. Damn. You just lost one. What ah. a bummer. Ah. Oh, yeah, oh. This back. You lost him. It's your boy again. Listen, the perpetrator's back on foot. I don't know if I have enough feet to catch him this time. I took a dip in the waters. I purified myself. In the waters of Lake Minnetonka. Came out on the other side. The perpetrator's on foot again. Sorry, guys. Send back up. Also, give me. Who did who had the remote last, Brandon? Go, go on somewhere, man. I don't even use the remote. Don't use the remote, huh, man? Turn your big butt over. I know you laying on it. See, I'm not even laying on it, man. Go on somewhere, Hootie. Ah, uh, you did something. I feel it in your stomach. You ate the remote, didn't you? Man, stop. I did not eat the remote. Oh, 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 oh. Look at the guilt you're getting upset. And look at that dryer mm. sheet that just fell out your butt. You out here eating random objects, Randall. Send me in the paperwork. That's when oh, look at that man. Okay, Demetrius, we see you out here shining and glistening in your own destiny play. Look at that man, y'all. Oh, man, I can't even hate on that man. And I'll be out here hating on mains every day. But that name right there, that's something special. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, Demetrius, call me, okay? I see you out here. Pulled up on him, man. I pulled up with the old, oh, oh, hell no. Look at that man, dog. Yo, I saw it before you even saw it, player. My heart stopped for like five seconds. My toes went pigeon for no reason. Never in my life have I seen a man so biblical. Yes, I only drink the finest wines. <laughs> Oh, look at that lavish man. Yes, 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 yes. Give me your wallet and everything you got, man. Huh, you hear me? What you looking at, man? Oh, oh, that man, dog. Yo, I'm giving up a life of crime today. Demetrius, I'm sorry. Now, what in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin is going on here? It's just past the note that if you hit the water too hard, you can be knocked out. Man. Nobody want to leave a baptism with a brain hemorrhage, two concussions, See, and a nosebleed. I get that the person getting baptized is from a heavier uh, district, but Lord yeah, have mercy, long. man. You got to dunk them that hard. Now, if this old aggressive hard. baptism would have happened in the biblical river back in the day, they would have tore their heads mm. up on the rocks underneath the water. And listen to this. <laughs> That didn't sound like no gentle baptism. That sounded like somebody yelled out. 
I want to know what this pastor did for a living before he found Christ, because clearly he was an enforcer for a criminal organization. The way he dunked this person, you don't learn that in the church. You clearly learn that torturing people. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you tough, huh? You tough? Yeah. yeah. Give us the large codes. Where's the rest of the money for those kilos? Yeah, you coming up short on the product. How you doing? My name's Brock. Brock, okay. You got... Oh, man, you, you smell and look so good. I mean, has anybody ever told you that? This is fancy meeting you. Yeah, I've, I've never seen you around here. A lot of people smell good but don't look good. You look and smell good simultaneously. Give, give, me, give, me, give me some paw. Yeah. So you've been coming around here a lot? Oh, okay, okay. You like, you like the paw-to-paw contact. Now, let's, let's patty paw. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like patty cakes and we patty paw. And then we come in for the smell. Oh man, you're great. You're great. Has anybody ever told you that? You're outstanding. You know what I'm saying? I've never seen a cat that look like you. You know what I'm saying? And the patty the paw pads are so soft, it's like we're one. But we're not one. We're two different people. I mean two different cats, if you will. How are you? Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> JT, let me tell you something. You were doing an amazing job on my shoulders, Don't man. Size. Oh, you're oh. working it, man. Look here, man. A lot of times I massage <laughs> Natalie up so much, I get neglected, yeah. man. But you are putting in that work. Oh, oh man, my shoulders were tense, man. Oh, <laughs> JT. Cool. You working it, working, JT. Man, you putting your hands all in that work, JT. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Hands on swole like, uh yeah. Massage on swole like, uh Work it, JT. Man, I needed every piece of this. Uh yeah. No. But listen, No. So my soft meow is not enough for you? Listen to this. I said no, Max. Well, let me step into this one. Listen. No. Huh? You're mean. But my meow's a heartfelt. No. Listen. Maxwell. Okay, okay, Natalie, you want to call me mean? I'm going to show you what mean really feels like out here. You know how hard it is to hit that soft meow? I'm trying to sound soft. Hey, yo, Albert. Albert. Let me, I'm sorry. So I had to touch you. I saw I know you were eating. I had to touch you over here in the bushes. Let me dabble in what something you get. Oh yes, no. man, you you're a real one, Albert. You the realest. You the realest Albert of all time. What they say about you ain't even true. I appreciate you out here, Albert. But Albert, let me get a dad more, Albert. Ooh, somebody come. Let me wait. Hold on. Let me tripping at this restaurant. I got to Albert. Albert, let me get a dad. Albert, let me get a dad more. Albert, sorry, I didn't mean to touch you that. But Albert, come on, just, just, just another. Albert, come on, just over here in the bushes again, just in case you forgot where I was at. Let me get, let me eat all oh, you. The, hey, you the realest of all time. You the best Albert I know, man. Praise God. What's up now, Barnabas? So you quiet? You quiet now, Barnabas? Did you know? Oh, you back? Quiet? You back again? Barnabas, what was that you said? Quiet. You gonna give yourself a stroke at the age? Oh, okay. Cram, Barnabas. You just gonna keep taking the crams, huh? Okay, I can do this all night. That's why they call me the straight A student. I cram for these exams, Barnabas. Oh, stop. Mm, well, you back again? You want some more cram? Mm. Oh, chill, bro. You want some more? You a cram? You a glutton for punishment? Cram. What up, P? <laughs> Tony Baker here. Are you tired of getting into constant arguments and debates with your friends and family with no real resolution? <laughs> We're about to put an end to that. This is Tony Baker on the issue. Right now, I got my good friend Carl. Right, What's up, man? What's up, man? How you been, man? What's up? All right. 
Known you for a little bit now? Cool. Yeah. I met you in Vegas. Vegas. Sin City. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. A lot of drug use in yeah. Vegas. Yeah. So that's what we're going to debate about, man. Yeah. Do you think drugs should be legal or illegal? A hundred percent. All of them should be legal. Oh, my God. Well, let's do it. All drugs. So, all right. We're going to debate that while we play this game. So when you're moving the blocks, I talk. Yeah. And then when you're done, I hush up and you can do it like that. That's fine. Okay. As soon as you put it down, though, mm -hmm. then that's your move. Yep, that's it. Then we good. Now, whoever the tower falls on loses the game, no matter the argument. You lose the argument, you got to hush up, take the L, and get the hell out of here. Man. You ready? I'm fine ready? with that. Well, let's get into it. You finna lose. Let's do this. He finna lose. Yeah. Let you kick it off, and I'll start the argument. All right, now, I think drugs should be illegal because you can't just be buying crack willy-nilly. You can't just buy a box of honey bunches of oats and crack at the same time. You know what I'm saying? That's just, that's just a bad look as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Let me get a, let me get a black and mild, some uh, cherry now later, and some crack. Tony Baker doesn't believe in freedom. You don't, you don't think you should be able to buy crack? in the same place that you can, like, a true Walmart super center? You don't think you should have those freedoms? This is America. I and just this. feel like if a drug is bad for your teeth, it shouldn't be legal. Like, uh, you know, crack just moves your teeth around. That's why people are always missing teeth on crack, your jaw is crooked. That shouldn't be legal, man. That's just bad dental work. I mean, the dentist would appreciate it. But once you do crack, you can't even work effectively. You know what I'm saying? You're just ruining, you're ruining employees at that point. Heroin is the only drug that releases the same endorphins as an orgasm. Mm. And I think it, you should have the freedom to go and do that. And you shouldn't be locked in jail for wanting to have some instant orgasms. Just have a natural, organic orgasm. Just do it the old-fashioned way. Why you, gotta, why you gotta use a needle? You know what I'm saying? Why you gotta get that involved? And, and that orgasm, it shuts you down. You know what I'm saying? You're just going to be sitting there drooling on yourself. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be, you're supposed to be doing your quarterly reports. You're sitting there with the heroin lean, the full <laughs> orgasm for 45 minutes. It's like, where's Carl at? Oh, he's over there leaned up. That's what it is. It's an orgasm lean. But you think that people should just be in jail, and you're contributing to the system. You're basically the man. You know that? Every day, you wake up and you're like, they should be in jail for enjoying life. You're a terrible <laughs> person, Tony Baker. You know that? Terrible. What you do, just stacking it on top like that, all slow and stuff? I just feel like some drugs are harder than others, man. All right? Like meth, that's legal out here. You know, that turns you into a real zombie. The true zombie is who looks the other way where his brothers and sisters are locked in jail for doing something. See, that's why cats really need to be eating dog food. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, okay. So you don't feel me, my black brother. Hey, somebody tell him. This is absolute horse knuckle. This is absolutely ridiculous talking about I've been drinking, man. You pulled me over on foot, sir. Hey, get this on camera, man. Oh, fake cop over here. You think because he put stickers on his car, he's the real deal, man. Look out. You just doing this because I'm brown. Hey, how long you been out here in the field? Hey, your breath ain't ready. Your breath ain't ready. Who told you your breath was ready? It ain't. Oh, what the hell we got going on here, Curtis? We going somewhere, Scotty? Oh, don't you go on somewhere, Scotty? Me, I told your dingy used toilet paper looking ass. I ain't want you standing up here. And here you are, yet again. But I can stand here. Wait, hold on. Is that extra lip you give me? Man, I'll slap <laughs> your whiskers off into that litter box back there. Oh, my God. Oh, damn, Pendy Hughes. Going on in your life. Ooh, yeah, where you coming from looking like this? I'm coming from your mother's house, you tuxedo wearing pigeon. Mind your business, man. This ain't happy feet. Oh, who out there smell snacks, man? Y'all got snack distribution going on out here? Shoot, don't mind if I do. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the catch, huh? You wanna get your little pervy feels in? I knew it. I knew it. What kind of stalk would I be if I didn't take care of my baby mama? You looking a little chilly over here. I got you this blanket I find behind CB. Ooh, I'm gonna kick you in the eyeball. Girl, let me get you squared away. What kind of stork would I be? Yeah, baby girl, you see what's going on up in here. Now come share Stop. this skin. I don't even know what that means, but I know you felt that all up in your nethers. That's the only way. Miss Cosgrove, Miss Cosgrove. Wild night last night, huh, Miss Cosgrove? <laughs> 
<laughs> Listen, try to stay with us for the class. This is money. You know, you don't want to waste your money. Speaking of money, the economic structure that was set up and put in place in the United States after the Industrial Revolution became a kind of, what's the word, a, a Miss Cosgrove. Miss Cosgrove, wow, wild nights. Man, did you go to sleep at all? We in here watching you sleep. <laughs> I see you laughing, but I, I don't even think you know what the hell I'm talking about at this point. All right, hang in there, Miss Cosgrove. We got a lot to go through. Now, once the funding structures were allocated to different proximities within the economic structure itself, that's when the U.S. government started to allocate different funding programs to... Times is hard, taking it one load at a time. It's a struggle on the daily, holding close together by your thread. Oh, yeah. Hey, let me tell you something right here, right now. I don't like what's happening right here. I don't like how you hold him arm and look at my chest. I don't like what's happening right up in there. I'll rip your paw pads loose and put them in a nice little broth and let that simmer while I sell your cat fur to the highest bidder and eat all your goddamn catnip, you understand me? But hey, to each his own, you know what I'm saying? I mean, whatever you're into. <laughs> I'll see you around next time. Now, what in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin is going on here? What diabetic tabernacle was y'all going to? Even in my fat kid heyday, I couldn't handle the combination of the butter cookies with the hoose. Hell no, man. I would have had, I'd have had a seizure. I this. guess I wasn't entrenched enough in the church community to have these two together. This is just the devil and Satan together in one movie, in one album. This would have had us so fired up. We would have held the church hostage, nigga. Like, we would have treated the church like it was a bank heist. Put the butterscotch candies in the bag, you old broad. You follow the rules, and we won't send you to meet Jesus. We want all the candies. Hey, deacon, pastor, cough up the jawbreakers, you fraudulent pricks. Even when I was taking down Little Debbie snack cakes by the cartel kilo, I couldn't handle these two together, man. Y'all was really having this? Let me know in the comment section. Hey, y'all, let's hit these waves where we belong. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? You feel me? I love being a duck. Now, what we need to be doing as proud ducks is invest in something called cornflakes. You know what I'm saying? Quack, my God. We leaving real money on the table, ducks worth. You know what I'm saying? cock a doodle quack. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, get this oven mitt out of my face, Zach. Get this oven mitt out of my face, Zach. I can do the string and the little laser pointer on the wall. I'll chase those all day, man. I don't do oven mitts, man. Man, go on somewhere with this oven mitt, man. Man, quit playing around with the oven mitt, man. Quit playing around with this oven mitt, man. I told you, man. I don't do oven mitts, man. I don't do oven mitts. You having a good time, man. This ain't funny to me, man. Man, I told you I can do no oven mitts, man. Sick of this, man. Tidy, man, get this mitt out of my face. Now it's real now, player. You gonna feel all of this up on your skin now, player. Yeah, feel every piece. Oh, oh, damn, now. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't funny no more, is it? Yeah. I told you, man, I don't do oven mitts, man. You keep playing around, man. I don't do oven mitts. Think it's funny all the time, man. And your little friend over there holding the camera giggling, man. This shit ain't no game now. It's real. I told you I don't do oven mitts, man. You always playing, man. You don't know when to stop. Tired of this, man. Where you going, man? I'm just getting started, Zach. Now, what in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin is going on here? Now, come on, dog. You know you don't lift the old school TVs above your head. What the hell was you thinking out here? Those TVs weigh as much as a full second grade public school elementary class. Fat teacher included. Who told you you was this strong in the community? Hey, yo, Abraham, you the strongest brother I know out here in the community. <laughs> oh, thanks, Gordon. You know, I'm just out here trying to get it how I live. <laughs> My grandmother called me Hercules when I was little, you know. 
what I'm saying? And why he looked down at the TV after he unfolded himself like he was surprised? You knew what it was going in. You know them big booted TVs weigh as much as a helicopter. You know historically how many noses was bleeding and how many ankles was twisted trying to carry those awkward big booty heavy TVs up and down some steps when you was moving? Them TVs be twerking. Big booty TVs was from the south and well fed. When was you taking this TV? Don't nobody want these. And it's a rare condition in this day and age that people are still getting these big booty TVs. The flat screens are affordable now. Nobody has an excuse not to have a flat screen TV now. They all cheap now. Even if you on hard times, you on crack, you sleeping in your car, you can afford a flat screen TV. Don't deal with the big booties no more. They out of here, man. Come on. And the way he folded up, let's just talk about the fold up. He folded up like a $20 bill slid to you by your uncle that sells drugs. Folded like a love letter to your crush in the sixth grade. Folded like fresh holiday in linen. Folded like a poker hand. Folded like Christians watching the passion of the Christ. Folded like Will Smith on that very special episode of the Fresh Prince when his dad left. And look at how the TV was face down and twerking after it folded his spinal cord. Head yeah, down. Booty popping, head down, booty, booty popping, head down, booty popping on a TV stand. Now, what in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin is going on here? Come on, man, give us the diet, bro. Drop the workout plan videos, man. You down there in the ocean, rip the shred. This whale is out here shredded like old Bill. Cock diesel premium unleaded in this. Bitch. He know he ripped up too, man. Look at his eyes, man. He's squinting. That's the light skin squint. So, so it's all protein down there? No carbs? Huh? And, and the swimming is the full body workout, huh? That's what you do? You know what? Let me get up in this ocean and work out with you, man. I'm a jet ski to where you at, and then we gonna work out together, and I'm gonna eat what you eat. I had a damn cookie in my hand till I seen this picture. I'm like, man, this whale out here in shape. A whale? So when people say you as big as a whale, you shit. If you like this beluga whale, then you're like, you got damn right, man. I'm rock solid, ripped to shreds. Now see, sometimes in life you gotta rip your own self out the plastic when you acting brand new. You know what I'm talking about, you feel me? You ain't got time to be waiting on somebody else to come and rip you out the plastic. You gotta rip yourself out that goddamn plastic, you hear me? And then once you, once you get to your new self, eat your plastic. Eat the plastic you just ripped yourself out of because you know what, you earned that. Your old plastic is your old plastic. Now you're like, I'm going to eat my old plastic because I'm sick of it, man. And I'm brand new. And the brand new me is going to eat the old me. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to eat the old me. You sitting there waiting on somebody to rip you out the plastic. You rip yourself out that plastic. And if somebody come in talking mess, man, you acting brand new. You got them right I'm acting brand new because I earned it. I ripped my own plastic off, then I ate my plastic. You worry about your own plastic. You know what I'm talking about? You feel me? How dare you come and tell me, shit, I'm acting brand new. I'm supposed to act brand new, man. We growing, we thriving, we building, we shedding, and then we evolving, man. You know what I'm saying? This, this plastic good, too. Let me run up in here and ask y'all a hard-hitting question. What y'all have for dinner? Hmm? Yeah, you want to do better than that, Chris. I've been all over all these appliances, you know what I'm saying? The blender, the toaster, the neutral bullet. I was touching all of that. You know what I'm saying? What you gonna do? Oh, you got a camera on there? Hmm? Okay, what's up now? What's up now? You know what I'm saying? You got a camera, Oh, those mouse traps you had me grabbing hold of, man. What's up? Yeah, I ain't the mouse you used to, man. My name is Jerry Montgomery, you feel me? Jerry Montgomery, a different mouse. <laughs> yeah, y'all gonna be late for everything. Chris, yeah. Cancel your appointments. Oh, you trying to make your little deliveries, huh? Get your feet together. Oh, you got your little work ladder. Chris, yeah, almost lost that ladder, didn't you? <laughs> you think because this is public transportation that's going to save y'all from my slip and slide? Huh? Because you full of the townspeople? Let me tell you something. I'm going to get that slide off you. <laughs> Crease! Hey, watch out, work ladder. Let me get bus to bus. Crease! All to serve and protect, huh? Well, who going to protect you from my slip and slide? Let me serve you up one real quick. Yeah, come in butt first. Crease! Well, look at Mr. Plow coming to save the day, huh? Well, who gonna save you, Mr. Plow? 
Look like you can't get your feet together, huh? Chris, you done plowed the townspeople. Hey, hey, get the hell out of oh, here. Oh, hell no, man. Quarry. Hmm? What's up, good people? This is Quarry <laughs> And Corey thought he was going to be cute and shoo me off, literally. Hey, you don't never put your dirty shoe bottoms on another man's head. So I came in with the crying. <laughs> folded his little legs in. I folded his legs up like them folding chairs he was sitting on. You never put your shoes on, man. Oh, this is what we do when show me how it's made, shorty. Oh, flatten that out. Ooh, we spreading it on. Oh, we roll. Everybody get your roll on. Oh, 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 oh. I'm fat, y'all. Oh, don't do us like this, shorty. It's all tender. Man, show us how it's made, shorty, man. You blending? Oh, you squeezing? Oh, come on, man. I'm fat, shorty. When the documents were in place, Buford, Buford, you listening? Now, get this. That's when the subcommittee had to reallocate the funds and then... Let's bask in the warm tranquility of the outside. What do you say? Well, hell, I say, look at who you came to see. Hey, it's snow, guys. We can frolic. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hey, I can frolic these slaps across your bills for setting this up like this. Hey, you guys are too close to me. You can expand cool your horizon. I'm going to expand my fingers to slap you in the face once we get back in this house. Come on back in, Mr. Snowman. Get your boy up out of here, shouty. Get your boy up out of here, man. Pull me up out of here, shouty, man. I'll give you anything, man. Hey, man, man, get your hands off me, man. I never needed a human for nothing. Oh, oh shouty. Hey, this is a humbling experience, shouty, man. I apologize for what I said. Get your boy up out of here, shouty. Come on, man. What else do you believe? Yo, why are you in the water with us? Let me tell you something. Man, get your unseasoned ass about the broth. Hey, what is that, man? Hey, hey man, get this off me, man. I don't like hats. I don't even like parties, man. In a world that was not his own, a helpless cat was forced to be festive, and then he killed his... Man, what? what's up? Do what? something, man. Listen, I'll tell you a part. I'll rip you in half. Oh, oh, oh well, what's up, King? Your fur is looking good. Yeah, I noticed your, your snout is looking real nice. You know what I'm saying? Man, you know, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know what's up. I said what I said. I'll, I'll rip your nose off and feed it to your precious humans. Oh, oh, oh what's yeah, up, King? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, no disrespect. The other side of the gate make the tone seem more aggressive. You know what I'm saying? What are they guys here? Oh, y'all out here looking. Hey, come here. Come here. Yeah, Let me get, get a taste of these shimmy chunks. Man, they expect us to eat this when y'all sitting up here looking robust. Hey, man, you can't be out here yeah. chewing on us. Why are you calling us chimmy chunks? Well, that's your name, ain't it? The chupacabras, the capoeiras. Whatever the hell your name is, you're looking, you taste delicious. Now you got the little dirt on your fur to add a little bit of seasoning. But I get it. You can't always get what you want in life. And it hurts. You think you better than me out here with your little sweater on? Man, hell yeah, I'm better than you, man. You know what I'm saying? It's called fashion. Man, get these fashionable so hats. Oh, yeah. Cashmere. You set your game up. You up there butt yeah. naked with no fashion, man. What's up? Yeah, yeah come up here. I'll rip your little fabric loose. Punk. Oh, the anointing. Jesus Christ himself wore this blade. Man, whatever, man. Help me pick this dude up. Jesus ain't wearing no contemporary blades. You heathens! Take the anointing. Feel every piece of the anointing here. The anointing. The anointing. The anointing. The anointing. Ha! The anointing. The anointing. None of you can stop the anointing. Take it. What's up, Andre? Bow! You see it? You see it. You see it. You see it. You don't see the extravagance? Let me let me get a better angle. Bah! You see it? How, how could you not see it? You you don't see it? See it. Come on now, you embarrassing me in front of these nosy humans, man. Come on, Andre, man. You the coldest piece inside of the Mississippi. Yo. What in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin is going on here? This is the surveillance footage of Jonathan Majors and his ex-girlfriend. Yo, how come I did not know they had a full foot chase through the city, man? Look, look at this, man. Look at, look, he like, man, get off.
Get up. <laughs> Bernard. Bernard. This is a full foot chase through the city, man. They frolicking out here. <laughs> we still running. They still running. They running through every borough of New York City right here, man. They done ran past every camera in the city. All the, all the bodega cameras, all the parking lot cameras, the bank cameras, everything. The CVS cameras, the Walgreens cameras. They just running. Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. Now what in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin is going on here? Oh, Kirk Patrick. First of all, his shoes was out of there. Then he had to take the whole ride down and get up with the humble shoe collection. There's so many defeats in this video. I don't mean his bare feet. And the cold part is, since his shoes abandoned him immediately, he had to keep his bare feet on that cold ice. Peep game, my man had a tasty beverage in his hand. Freshly brewed coffee. So he lost his shoes, his coffee, and he had to slide, slide, slippity slide all the way down to the street. I hope at least it was a check in that mailbox to make it all worth it. Cause it would just suck if all that was in that mailbox was utilities, some grocery store coupons that you never use, and an East Bay magazine. Peep his pose on the slide down like he just sitting on the beach watching the sunset. Peep after he humbly picks up that second shoe, he just squats down and just reflects on every piece of his life. I see, Christine, I told you to grab a snack just in case they were not going to have food when we got there. Now look at you. You out here snackless, looking sad. Look at my apple. I'm having the time of my life with this apple, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, don't look over there. Look at, focus on this. Focus on your mistake. I told you, and you was like, nah, they're going to have food when we get there. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was you in my little box, Cordell. I'm going to pap you up. Look who out here with us. Oh, Mr. Captain America out here himself, slumming it oh, up. Very funny, guys. What, what kind of noises y'all be making down here? Man, Mark, man, get your bald-headed ass out of here. All we got going on here, Curtis? Man, go on somewhere, Scotty. Oh, go on somewhere, huh? I remember stating very clearly I was going to slap your whiskers off if you was in my bed again. And guess where you at, Playboy? Tell me you got some sloppy in here waiting for you both. Imagine, hey, you in here? Man, it's tough being a service dog for hire, man. I'm sick of this job. I'm gonna go in here and eat some Purina and go to bed. You understand what I'm saying? Righty, look at what we got over here. It's the tough guy that was slandering cornflakes on social media, huh? Hey, man. So I said what I said. Cornflakes is trash. Oh, 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 Roger. He served you up a fresh bowl of honey nut skibbity paps. What the hell we got going on here, Curtis? Come on somewhere, Scotty. No, I remember very clearly telling you I ain't want you in my chair, Playboy. I slap your whiskers clean off out here. You be a careless whisker walking around here. I'm never disrespected. Oh, my back. Y'all ever just be in that egg too long? Oh. I'm like two days old, but my back is 78. Yeah, put me down, man. Damn. Always holding me up in front of your little cameras, huh? You having a good time? Huh? You having a man? Get the fingertips off me. Skip, skip, skip. Yeah, put me down, man. Skippity pat 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 skippity pat 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 the Kuna Matata of my ass means no worries for the rest of your days. I'll be worried about y'all eating me every day. But I ain't having it, man. I ain't scared. Poom ba. You better call me Poom Nah, because I'm not having it. All right? Yeah, and I hit a woman. I will hit a woman because y'all will eat me any day of the week, and I'm not having it. Now get on out of here. Trifling heifer, get on out of here. Come on now, baby girl. Don't 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 be like that. You know what I'm saying? Smile for daddy real quick. Smile for daddy. You ain't gonna smile for daddy. You know I'm gonna get, don't get your my little monkey shirt, paws girl. off me. Now. I am Come not on. the hey, one tonight. I'm not the one tonight. Oh, all right. You know you done messed up. Hey, you a cold piece tonight.
All right, Mike, that's right, Mike. I, put, I punch dogs in the face and put them in my pouch. I hate dogs. Oh, here comes your little human monster to save the day, huh, Mike? Well, let's go then, Mike. You can get some of this, too, just like your dog did, Mike. Oh, okay, Mike. Okay, you got hands, Mike. You got hands. Jerome, get up, man. Jerome, get up, man. Don't be pulling this dead on the side of the road nonsense, man. Get up, man. You know we got that migration today. Get your ass up, man. Now, if some lions come over here and reap the benefits, you're going to be looking real dumb and dead. Whew, I had a long day, man. Time to unwind. Byron, man, what, what are you doing, man? We're laying here. Man, this cat couch is pretty comfortable up in here, man. Byron, we are living beings. We are not your furniture. Oh, I can't see, man. Jet sit. Jet, sit down, man. Sit Jet. down, man. You gotta listen so we can get these snacks, boy. Did you help Jet sit? Most definitely. I'm trying to indulge in these snacks. Ruth, did you help Jet sit? Yes. Jet out here playing. I'm trying to snack. Wow, try again. Try it again. Jet sit. Come on, Jet, man. It's crunch time. No pun intended, man. Jet, man. Jet sit. Sit your ass down, man. Come on. You hear what she's saying? Get these snacks, Ruby, baby. so you helping? Oh, you goddamn right I'm helping, man. I had the whole jet in place. He act like these snacks ain't important to us. Hello, good people. This is Douglas the Lion, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, I see a lot you of people... out here, Douglas. You killing it, baby. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. Listen, oh, oh you working it. Ayo Dele. Ayo Dele, you working it, man. You working it. Thank you. Anyway, uh, what I was saying was... I need was, a man like that in my life, Douglas. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Appreciate you, girl. Appreciate you. How you doing? Thank you. Next time, just, just brush a little bit over the top and then suit that over the side. How you doing? Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. You're one of the few humans I trust, man. We see you out here, Douglas. Your man gives us hope, man. You never turn your back on where you came from, bro. We see you shining and glistening, man. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be great, man. You the best yeah. human we could ever ask for. Oh, oh. The hell no, man. Yeah, who does he think we are? Half dog, half dolphin out here? Here we go, man. These my people on TV. Yes, it is. What? Oh, it's my cousin. What? What else we got up here? What? Every time I see my people, I get so excited, man. Every time. What? Oh, man. It, <laughs> Who else we got up in the <laughs> <laughs> About to go canoeing with my I, I good buddy you, Hank behind it's gonna be a good me, time. helping it's me out. Be, Let's it's, go, it's man. It's going to be great. It's going to be working. Now, come on back up. Come on back to okay, land, man. Now. Come on back up, You're defeating man. the purpose, Hank. No, you had a good time, man. You already... You You're went, not helping me, Hank. You went far enough, Come on, man. buddy. It's too dangerous, man. Come on, come push on back me out up. there, man. No, come on back up. It's going to be okay. Just push me out too valuable, man. You feed me and walk me. You're too valuable to lose. Okay. Mm-mm-mm, man. Get this out of here, man. Get this, get this out of here, man. Just stop it right now. Just stop it right now, man. I want the meats. I don't eat the meats. I'm not my cousin, okay? Stop. I want the crickets. I want the meats, man. I don't like this vegetarian BS, man. Stop, okay? Mm-hmm. Gone, so I'm good, man. I'm good. Man, stop. 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 I'm a vegetarian now, man. Get this out of my face, man. Come on. Okay, okay. We doing hide and seek. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know you in here somewhere, you know what I'm saying? I can smell it. Ah, God, yeah. What the, what the hell? Okay, okay. Yeah, you playing games out here. I can still smell you, though. I can still smell you. Yeah, God, I got your ass now. What the, what the hell? All right, all right, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, I like a challenge. I like a challenge. I know you in there. I can still smell you, you know what I'm saying? Me too. God, yeah, yeah. What kind of black magic is this? Where the hell you at? I can still smell you, though. That's the crazy part. You're so spooky. Where are you at? Are you in these bags? Oh, oh, okay. God, God. What the hell is this here? You know what? I'm, ah, yeah, 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 I'm on the couch this time. I'm on the couch this time. I got a better viewpoint. I got a better... What the hell is... Ah, I'm on the couch. I can see him. Where you at? Okay. Oh, who's that coming down my road? Who? Oh, you done came down the wrong road. <clears throat> you done came down the wrong road, player. To get this little head start distance, you better you better reverse it. You just gonna sit there and not. Okay, okay. <clears throat> hmm? 
Ain't no games out here, man. You better keep moving the other way. Boy, I ought to just hmm, cram your leg. Cram, cram your leg. Oh, you think you could hmm, hmm, you just run from this crowd? Huh? You think I can't chase you down on the crowd? So you gonna run out of gasoline sooner or later. I'll run on cram. Hmm? That cram is unlimited. I'll never run out of cram. And this premium unleaded cram. Hmm? I'm gonna chase you the whole time. You gonna run out eventually. You got a small tank. I got a full tank of crime. Mm hmm mm hmm Oh, I'm watching your ass. I'm watching every move you make out here. What's up? I with my girls. We doing it big, you know. Dirt back! <sighs> Girl, I don't know where I am. Mm hmm I'll say it skip that diddly dee. Yeah, damn, man, what the hell going on out here? Who, who am I? What, what years is it, man? What is anything out here, man? What the hell going? I set my clock, man. It didn't even go on. What, what? Is, oh, yeah. Oh, here she comes, here she comes. Watch out, boy. She'll chew you up. Whoa, here she comes. She's a man eater. <laughs> but you ain't eating me, bitch. No, no, can't be better than that. Cause I got eyes in the back of my head. 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 You gotta have eyes in the back of your head. You just lost one. It's a silly hurl Oh, who, well, who that is you're looking at right there? I, I don't know, Rudy. I don't know whether to look at it or indulge. Let, let me get a closer look. Let me look at it from a different angle, Hoover. Let me look at it from the upside down. Oh, hey, man, hey, get some balls off my back, bro. That's what I think of you. You just a soft ball holder. Well, that's how you feel, huh, Cram? Saw your booty pop up on that one. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Booty pop up on this Crambleton. Mm -hmm. Cram! What's up, good people? This is Crambleton. Mm -hmm. As you can see, he tried to put his balls on my back early to distract me, but that only gave me the fuel necessary to flip him in the end like Georgia, Wisconsin, and Michigan. Cram! Mm -hmm. I saw that dog here in my water, Cordell. It wasn't mine, Rudy. Don't lie to me, Cordell. Oh, damn, Rudy. Oh, not these guys. Hey, where you think you going? Where you think you going? Where you going? Hey, man, get off me, man. I'm sick of y'all, man. Go get jobs. Hey, how you doing, man? Thanks for having me. Oh, hey, what, what we, what we laughing at? Did I, did I just miss something? What's going on, man? It's so funny. What's happening, man? Hey, man, who hired this clown, man? He over here sniggling and giggling and key, 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 man. You call this journalism? I'm on this show to talk serious Arizona business. You know what I'm saying? Taxes, budget cuts, man. Catnip. Hey, Curtis, keep digging, man. I got a good feeling about this. Scott, Scotty, I don't think they keep catnip in the sock drawer, man. It just doesn't make any sense. You might be right about that, Curtis. We got to check the panty drool after this. Oh, you thought you was going to use the last little toilet tissue with the thing again on me? Why do you hold me? Thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you in the next video. Peace.